As disciples of Jesus Christ, we need to be comfortable with the person and the work of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen to that. The Holy Spirit is with us. He's not only with us, but He's in us. He's the promise of the Father. He's been given to us as another helper, a comforter, a teacher. He intercedes for us. He fellowships with us. He strengthens us. He guides us into all truth. He helps us to remember the things that Jesus taught us. He shows us things to come and he makes the presence of Jesus real to us. You know, there are times when we go through worship services or we have encounters in small groups and we just say something like, wow, the presence of God was there today what that's the Holy Spirit Lord have you ever had this experience where you're reading the word and something just stands out to you in a new way maybe you've read it a hundred times but you read it again today and it just comes alive who did that the Holy Spirit when a friend comes to you And says, hey, I know you've been going through a difficult time. Can we pray together? I want you to know how much we love you. We support you. We're there for you. We're praying for you. Whose comfort is that really? It's the Holy Spirit's comfort. Flowing through you. Flowing through your friend. It's the work of of the Holy Spirit. We're convicted in our hearts by the Spirit. He corrects us. He tells us, hey, there's there's an issue here and I want to put my finger on it. Why? To condemn you? No. To help you. To free you. So that you can repent. He leads us to repentance. We are born again by Him. We are led by Him. We are filled by Him. We are sealed by Him. It is the Spirit of the living God. And He comes to us in our weaknesses to help us. Love what Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 16. He said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper. Everybody say, another helper. To be with you forever. The spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because he does not see him or know him, but you know him because why? He lives with you, and he will be in you. 